Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Romanovska and I am a certified family law specialist practicing family law in the Bay Area, California. Today I would like to talk about mediation and what includes and what are advantages of mediation in a divorce process. Mediation is a process that is requiring both parties consent and mediator is usually a lawyer or retired judge who helps facilitate um, negotiation settlement. So imagine both parties have prepared their financial disclosures. They, they put everything on the table. What is community property? They divided everything in half and they have potentially issues regarding spousal support, custody, parenting plan. Mediation for this type of situation is ideal. In cases where the other party is hiding assets and not willing to put everything on the table, mediation could be potentially good if a mediator is able to relay to the other side to provide all these documents because without it, no settlement is possible. So in other words, mediation is a process that requires cooperation by everyone. And a mediator um, is, whatever is happening in the mediation is confidential. And mediator can prepare all the paperwork uh, for, for the parties and help to file it with the court. However, the mediator is not representing either party. So let's say everything is settled and then the mediator will suggest usually to have each party seek their own counsel to ensure that they reached a settlement um, and that they have been advised by independent counsel and so they cannot later set it aside by saying they didn't understand what they were signing. So I think um, lastly, uh, what are the advantages of mediation? The advantage of mediation is it can be much faster than actual court process. So mediation can be accomplished in a day or two, sometimes in three hours, and parties sign the MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, and that's it. And what I like personally about mediation that it, it doesn't have to be some third party judge who decides in 20 minutes about my life. It, it requires both parties to participate and be in charge of their life. The disadvantage is that any party can quit and then this whole process was sort of as part of um, a process but it's not satisfactory when it's not completed. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below or call me and I will see you soon. Bye.